Okay, this is my face. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Top of his head. <laughs> I am usually on the right when we record. I am just moving stuff in my room now. This has become cleaning my room. Okay, but ow. I'm recording on my floor and it's really painful. Okay, but yeah, this is me. This is my face. I'm usually on the right drawing, the ones that always look terrible. But it's me. Bang it, bang it, bang it. Banging down a block with my Remy bottle, Rep, repping two and three California Lotto, serving all the fiends like King Taco, my cheese nachos, flossing till you unfollow. Windows down a lag, just the ass. Okay, so today we're gonna be doing a comparison video. We've never done one on this channel. Cushy is not here to join me. My name is Connor. Just letting you know that. Yeah, we're doing a comparison. My friends will not be here to join me. So first off, we have Faber Castell. Everyone knows this brand, hopefully. It's one of the leading brands besides Prismacolor and Crayola, because, like, who can beat Crayola? Here they are. White, I swear to God. There. Yeah. These are, one of their main claims is unbreakable lead. We're not going to find that out. No. We all know who has breakable lead. Looking at you, crazy art. And we all know who makes fake claims. Looking at you, crazy art. Next up, we have the main attraction, Prismacolor. Everyone knows this brand. It's like the Crayola of the art world. <laughs> but yeah, this brand's really great. It's a good brand to start off with. It's pretty cheap for like a 72 pack. It was only like 40 bucks. So let's start the video. My mother says my body proportions are off. But I say, I'm beautiful! We're gonna move the sketchbook to the side while we figure out colors. Okay, so we need to find a white. For my Prisma color, because I have 72. Okay, so white. Boom. Okay, we're done here. We have our color palette selection set up. Okay, so we have our ch our challenger over here for number one spot, and we have the leading number one over here. So real fast, we're just gonna do some swatches to see. I'm gonna grab my swatching stuff. Okay, here we are. So we're just gonna go to the back page because yeah. Okay, so we're going to write down favor Estelle. Then Prisma. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just start by swatching white.
I guess now everything comes down to the actual drawing. Okay. We're going to be starting with Faber Castell. Okay, so we're going to take this color and... The saturation of these is actually really nice. Okay, so after three times of trying to film this, the camera not turning back on, okay, let's finally do the outro that I think is working and I really hope it's working or I'm going to cry. I'm going to test the mic again and push it. Okay, so here's the Faber-Castell final product. Again, well actually not again, this is, okay, so I need to improve on this line. That line right there, connecting it. The depth line. But, yeah. So I need to improve on that and, like, showing my lines. But all in all, the pencils are good. And then, for the prism color. Again, this one, I don't think, actually looks as good as the Faber Castell. Again, with the line. And the color choice. I need, this looks too blue. And then, right here. That's like really bare and needs to be fixed. But, yeah. So, for the pencils, pros, and cons, I think the um, Faber Castell, they are really good. They have nice, high, they are high in pigment, and not once when I was recording did the lead break. So, that's really good because we all know whose lead breaks. Crazy art. Don't attack me, please. Again, I would say Prismacolor, high in pigment, but they do break. The leads break. That's annoying, but you can take a blow dryer and blow dry them so the lead merges back together. But, yeah. Some people don't do that because they think it'll risk the pencil's quality, but it really doesn't. I haven't done it yet, but I will do that later in the future sometime when I get a new pack. But... For the highlights, I used Pentel Milky Pop Pen, also known as one of the worst highlighter highlight pens in the world. I don't like this. It picks up the pencil's like pigment and it just makes it look terrible, and it like it rips the paper sometimes if you press down harder. I want to get Milky, not no, I want to get Uniball or Jelly Roll because those are like really good. These work on marker, but not on pencil. And for the shading that I did on, like, the bottom of the watermelon, that was just pencil and then some toilet paper tissue. Just scrub that in. And that works perfectly fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, 
by the way, people in the comments on the Krampus video have been asking for us to do a sculpture, which I've had this before the channel actually started, but yeah, I'll just say I went out and bought this so we could do that video or I could do that video. Yeah, that'll be the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment, and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you get notified of when we upload because we try to upload um, what, two times a week because we want we upload one soul on Fantasy Friday and we upload a random art video every single week. But the Fancy Friday or Fan Choice Friday will be on Fridays. So I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave comments of what you want us to do. I will see you all. In the, well, we will see you all in the next video. Bye.